and I am back. This is Alex Seven Hundred Three Rockstar. I am back to review the one and only new Weeza album, Ratitude. Can you see it with the light there? Cool cover, right? Um. So when I heard this was coming out, I was like, awesome! Another Weeza album. The Red album was excellent. I have a review of that. You can go check that out. And then. So I go pick this up. I heard some pretty good stuff about it. I heard the lead single, which I enjoyed a lot, which is, um, if you're wondering if I want you to, I want you to. Um, and then I listened through, through this whole album. The first three songs, classic Weezer stuff. Lyrics are awesome. Um, it's songs that's like, it's almost like 50s big band with 90s rock combined. Um, beautiful stuff, check that shit out, amazing, and then we got to Can't Stop Partying, okay, this song was so strange, because this is like almost a hip-hop song, the lyrics from Rivers Cuomo are really, really subpar here, I mean, wait, let me, let me, watch this, let me read you the lyrics to this song, I can't stop partying, partying, I can't stop partying, partying, I gotta have Patron, I gotta have the beat, I gotta have a lot of pretty girls around me, oh. I'm sorry, but Rivers Cuomo to me is a genius lyricist, and those are not genius lyrics. lyrics. Now, I feel like he could be sort of making a joke out of those types of songs, and I was all willing to forgive him, and then I hear... Lil Wayne on the track. Yes, that's right. Lil Wayne on a Weezer song. That blew my mind. I was like, I know Weezer have done some weird hip-hop stuff recently, but Lil Wayne, come on. If you're even going to get a rapper, get someone better. Now, I must say, there is a version of it with Chameleon Air that is much better than the Lil Wayne version. I know, I know what you're thinking, like, Chameleon Air doing something good, what? But um, it's much better than the Lil Wayne version. Um, but still, the song is weird. It has a strangely catchy beat, I must say, but it's just, it's, it's like really weird. It's, it's somewhere where it doesn't play to Lil Wayne's strengths, which are few, and it doesn't play to Weezer's strengths. So it's, so, it's stuck somewhere in between, and it's just kind of weird. Then after that, the, the, the rest of the album is pretty hit and miss. I mean, some highlights here for me are Trippin' on the Freeway, Trippin' Down the Freeway, I'm sorry, and In the Mall, which I think In the Mall especially has great lyrics, and Trippin' Down the Freeway is like sort of a, like a sequel of Everybody Get Dangerous to me. Um, yeah, I know I'm drinking milk, it's kind of weird. Anyway, I bought the bonus edition to this disc. So this comes with four extra songs. Um, and as I've expressed before, I love the bonus discs. And two of the four songs are really worth it. There's a song, Get Me Some, here, which is the heaviest song on this whole album. And I think it's really good. Um, the first verse is a little strange because he sings. It sounds like he's singing in a different time signature than the music. But then once it gets to the chorus, it's some excellent stuff. The second verse is great. Awesome stuff there. And then also, Run Over by a Truck. What a fun song. It's like this little bouncy piano riff here. It sounds almost a little bit like it would be an Amika song, although Rivers Cuomo sounds nothing like Mika. Um, and it's really a little bouncy, fun song. So I would actually definitely recommend spending the extra two or three bucks that it would take you to get this bonus disc. Um, it's There's some good stuff on there, definitely some quality stuff. Um, this album in general, I think, is some quality stuff just for, there's 10 songs on the album, and I think five of them are really good, and then there's a couple decent songs, and then there's a couple bad songs, but you know, that happens. So I'd say definitely give this one a thumbs up. Um, it's not the best Weezer album, but it's not the worst either. I would say it's probably better than the Green Album and Make Believe, so, um... So yeah, I'd say check it out. Um, if you're a Weezer fan and have all their albums, buy it to finish your discography. That's what I did. Um, and you'll probably enjoy it if you're a Weezer fan. 
if you're not already a Weezer fan, I would suggest checking out maybe the Blue Album or Maladroit first. But, um, buy this shit. 